garden so I mean we've seen it we just never done it ourselves so we're trying to do this together all right y'all we made it to the nursery it's cute out here it's like a dirt road how cute is this I don't know they got stuff down there and then I'm late they, they close in like six minutes and here I am walking in All right, so we just left that nursery and now he's about to go to the house and start and I am going to, do my lips are dry. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the lows and head back to the house, so. very novice gardeners and like just trying to figure it out i'm like calling my dad facetiming my dad like hey what does he think about this or when we go to the stores like he's asking them a bunch of questions like okay how would this work how should this work when should this go out so we're trying to figure it out um and i'm hoping this is successful and in like five to six weeks we have something to show for it um of course i'll show you guys the whole process when they start to sprout um, we got a little seedling thing to put like our baby seeds in to give them a little second to sprout up. So like, <clears throat> this is exciting. I'm very excited. I've always wanted to garden and I've been talking about gardening for a while. So to finally be doing it, I'm just, I'm excited. So, so yeah, I am heading home now to go help. And then I had to get some more dirt. I got five bags of big dirt because <clears throat> We both were like, we're doing raised beds, and I'll show you guys the beds, but nobody wanted to do my, and the dirt in my backyard is just trash. It's like that super hard gray clay dirt, and so we were thinking about like trying to like till the land and stuff, but I was like, that's just going to be too much. It's not even good dirt, so we just decided to do the raised bed and just fill it with dirt, and so we put like a, um, a lawn fabric down so the weeds wouldn't come up in the dirt, and then, um, we're doing like a compost bag mix so we're not putting because i saw a girl on tiktok and she put mulch in her garden bed we're not doing that so hopefully it works out fine and then she used like vermiculite and all this stuff but i know that we have dirt and it has fertilizer in it and all the things so hopefully that'll be enough but like i said this is our first time we're just trying to figure this out so hopefully that'll be fine um and I think the it already has like fertilizer in it, the back we got, and it has compost, so it should be okay. 
But if not, I'll have my, I'm going to call my dad and have him look at it. And if I need to go buy fertilizer to kind of mix into it, I will. It's not a big deal. But anyways, I am rambling. Let me get to the house. Um, and I'll show you what it's looking like. So we are going to put this biotone starter into all the beds and kind of hoe them in. And so this is what we decided to use. This is good to use when you are starting your garden. It's for organic gardening, which we have organic seeds. So I think this will be good. Okay. The biotone starter definitely helps the um, vegetables bloom. So probably put about that much in each box because you don't eat a lot. And then we'll see how it goes. So you just kind of sprinkle it on there. Alright, that's that. Just sprinkle it in here. We're going to hoe it in and kind of flatten out the bed so we can get the dirt ready to be seeded. y'all right, so here's what we have so far to start our garden so we have this greenhouse kit and we are going to use the greenhouse kit for our seeds that we have so for the seeds we have celery we have cucumbers we have spineless okra bloomsdale spinach and burpee stringless bush green beans. And then over here, we have our broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, and collard greens. We have two of each, two broccoli, two Brussels sprouts, two collard greens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these into these pots and these into these pots as well. And then the seeds will go into the greenhouse kit and we're gonna use our extra bag of soil to put into the pots to get these good and the only reason that we're doing this and not putting them in the beds is because we are starting a little bit early so we want to make sure that they're good and strong before we put them in the raised beds and we also want to let it get a little bit warmer because if we put them out and it's too cold they'll freeze and they'll die and we don't want that so what we're going to start doing is just start getting these into the pots and getting these seeds into the dome all right so we have the potting dirt i'm just going to fill it maybe like a third of the way and then we'll put some more potting dirt on top once we get the actual plant in. Then we gotta add biotin to each part. Oh yeah, and then we'll add the biotin. Well, should we add the biotin before we put the plant in, right? Just okay. a scoop of biotin, okay. like a teaspoon. All right, y'all. So, we have everything in the pots. So, and then we labeled it with little stickers that I already had. So, like, there are our Brussels sprouts, broccoli, that's broccoli, our collards. Um, and then we have our little cilantro in, not cilantro, parsley and oregano. And then we ended up planting one broccoli back there just to see how it does. And so now, we're gonna start doing the seedling in the peat moss to get the seeds ready. All right, y'all, now we about to water the plant, or the, the dirt, so we're ready for the rest of the plant. Okay, 
okay y'all so we are almost done um we're just waiting on the ceilings um the little uh what did i call it the greenhouse thing so we gotta wait for the soil to get softer so it looks like it's expanding and so we're just waiting on that and then we'll be able to put those seeds in Whew, this is a lot of work we've been at this for a few hours okay so getting a little tired but yeah we just gotta do these ceilings get those going i don't even know like how we're supposed to put them in there but you know we're just learning as we go i just called my daddy said everything looks good i showed him everything and the layout and he said it looked good so i think we're doing a good job <laughs> you know this is kind of we're just learning as we go and then um, i'm gonna watch some videos tonight on what we planted to see the best way to keep them alive because i don't have a history of house plants my face is red because i was scratching it i don't have a history of keeping house plants alive I, I did keep a bamboo plant alive but other than that did so i'm very hopeful for this garden though and we're gonna go get like i said we're gonna get four more beds so it'll be a little bit bigger but not too much bigger so i think total we'll have eight beds um and then we're also gonna do some flowers so this whole i'm gonna show you guys so this whole back section because this is a side that came with the house they put this side down but that whole back section doesn't have sod I was focusing on my hand not the grass but that whole back section doesn't have sod so we're gonna get some more um vegetable beds and then on this side over here i want to do flowers so we'll put flowers over there i'm really excited to see how it's gonna turn out like in six weeks this that is gonna look completely completely different and i'm so excited to see it all right y'all i did want to come back and show you guys the seedlings that we got so we decided to just do two rows of green beans and two rows of spinach to start so we put all the seeds in there we put the mixture and covered it back up and then poured water on it so you see how big they they expanded because they were like small little discs but now they're like big so hopefully something sprouts from these and then of course we brought all the other plants in after watering them we just put like a little trash bag down so it doesn't get my counters too dirty but yeah that was day one of gardening so yeah i am exhausted that was a, a long day but we got it done and i'm excited so tomorrow morning what i'll do is in the morning when i feed the dogs i'm gonna take these plants out i'm gonna leave the seedlings in but I'm gonna take these outside and water them in the morning and let them sit outside all day and then bring them in in the evening time so they can get some sun. So that's the plan and probably until April. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put them in the ground. So I am going to continue to bring you guys along because we don't know what we're doing. We're learning in the garden. So I feel like it'll be a fun series of just watching the garden grow. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys are gardeners, and have any tips please 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 mm -hmm. give them to me i welcome them i welcome constructive criticism because again we don't know what we're doing we're just trying stuff and hoping it bears some fruit anywho that's it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching please do not to get to like comment shit oh, i'm tired y'all it is 10 30 we came in we cooked dinner and then we took the dogs for a walk we only did a mile because Zoe wouldn't walk anymore, so I had to carry her. It's been a long day. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.